So what if I graciously accepted the responsibility bestowed on me by the Most High and made a conscious decision to speak the truth in those instances where most lie, lift my brow high. Exemplify perseverance in the times when I would normally throw in the towel, yeah. I know sometimes this life looks foul, but what if I showed you how to get through it? You see the lighter side of living is hidden just beneath the darkness. What if I told you I knew how to get to it? Who would you think I was or assume me to be? You see, there's no real difference between you and me. I just recognize my destiny is to help you reach yours. What's up, good people? It's the legendary Black Ice, and I'm here to welcome you back to season three of Lexus vs. and Flow. Hey! Yes, welcome to Versus and Flow. Don't go anywhere. This week, we're gonna focus on the young cannons, the up and comers, young poets who have taken the word and have developed their own style, their own way of delivery, their own way of craftsmanship when it comes to putting words together on paper and giving them to you. Pushing double wide strollers down them narrow ass lanes, cashing half of what you used to have when he had it to give of his own free will. Some of my favorite young poets are G. Yamazawa, who has an amazing ability to take very serious subject matter and give it to you in a comical way, but also give it to you in a very passionate way. I won't rap like you, cause dog, I'm Asian. I eat cats like you. Like my brother Aaron White with American Gangster. But I'm sorry, it's hard for me scared of a thug that's about to order a cappuccino latte. You know, Fiveology, who wrote a poem called Dear God. Dear God, are you ever tired of being an honest insurance policy long after we failed to keep up the payments? Do you ever hate the sound of our voices? The one thing that I absolutely appreciate about the new voices in the culture is that new voices add new perspective, add new flavor, add new taste. When they get older, they're gonna face a system that tells them, there is no you. You know, just like hip hop, spoken word technique varies. So you have cats that spit it fast. I teach like life dependent on it, and incompetence is a cancer. So I'm an oncologist in my classroom, and education is the answer. Then you got cats who spit it real slow. They say, for 40 years, the people incarnated their defiance with hymns and psalms. They say, all of these techniques are used for one reason only to inspire you. Because before our people made history, they made music. Make sure y'all tune in next week to Lexus Verses and Flow, featuring the dynamic voices of Paul Mabone, Queen D, Ainsley Burroughs, and a dynamic performance by Philly's own Vivian Green. Airing every Wednesday at 9 o'clock on TV One. And make sure you check back the Global Grind every week for my updates and commentary.